Good morning. I'm Jen Amos at Weiss Research. I'm Andy Myers, and this is your morning market update for Monday, February 28th. Stocks on Wall Street opened solidly higher following a report on personal income and spending. The overall income of American workers rose 1% in January, the biggest increase in a year and a half. The jump was largely due to a temporary payroll tax cut that took effect last month. Meanwhile, consumer spending rose just two-tenths of a percent, pushing the individual savings rate up to 5.8%. A separate measure within the report showed that overall inflation increased slightly, and the core personal consumption expenditure price index, a closely watched inflation gauge that excludes food and energy costs, ticked up just a bit. Over the past year, core inflation has risen eight-tenths of a percent. Later this morning, we'll get reports on business conditions in the Chicago area and pending home sales. Let's check in on oil prices, which have been a major weight on global equities over the past week or so. Right now, crude is dipping back below the $98 a barrel mark, despite continued protests across North Africa and the Middle East. Investors pushed prices to their biggest weekly percentage increase in more than two years last week on fears that violence in Libya and other oil-producing nations would cause more supply disruptions. Despite crude's turn downward, the U.S. dollar is still losing ground against other major currencies, and Treasury prices have turned slightly higher. We're seeing some consolidation among real estate investment trusts today. Ventus is buying nationwide health properties in an all-stock deal worth $7.4 billion. The deal will create one of the world's biggest publicly traded REITs and the leading healthcare REIT by equity value. The price tag represents a 15% premium over Nationwide's closing price on Friday, and the stock is gaining more than 12% on the news. Shares of Ventus are slightly lower. Separately, the Wall Street Journal reports that the private equity giant Blackstone Group is buying 588 shopping centers in the U.S. from Centro Properties. The $9.4 billion deal would allow Centro to unload some of its debt and focus on its Australian operations as a standalone company. In other potential M&A news, J.P. Morgan Chase is reportedly in talks to buy a stake in Twitter. The Wall Street Journal says the deal could value the popular website at more than $4 billion. A couple big stock movers to tell you about this morning. Shares of the British banking giant HSBC are falling 5% in London and on the New York Stock Exchange. Its net profit for all of 2010 more than doubled as losses on bad loans fell sharply. But the results still missed expectations, and HSBC also cut a key profitability target. Moving in the other direction today is Berkshire Hathaway. Warren Buffett said in his annual newsletter that his investment firm will spend some of its $38 billion in cash on new acquisitions in the coming year. And finally, our weekly segment naming the financial institutions that are shutting their doors. According to Weiss Ratings, just one bank failed last week, Valley National Bank in St. Charles, Illinois. That's the latest from Weiss Research. Have a great trading day.